All right, well, welcome to the live stream. And um, this is the first time, so if things crash or fail, please bear with me. And what I wanna to do today is just edit a couple of photos on Lightroom. And it's not really a tutorial, it's more like a like you're watching over my shoulder while I'm doing it. And uh, I just want to, yeah, show you what I do and hopefully talk a little bit about how I do it. But yeah, don't really think of it as a tutorial. Also, there's some cool free stuff I linked down in the description below. Um, if you sign up for my newsletter, you get a free preset, which is based on one of the edits we're going to do now. So um, yeah, if you want a free preset, just sign up for my newsletter and you get an email with the download link into your inbox. So it's pretty nice. And yeah, so why am I doing this? Um, finally have a good connection and I'm gonna be in a place for a while. So I figured I'd do, do something new, do something live and um, yeah, I just want to see, give you a bit of a slower kind of tutorial and way in how I do my editing and stuff. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Now, one of the things, please comment below, subscribe and like the video if you do, share it with your friends if you think this is cool. And um, I think I might upload it later as, as well as a, like a, a, a video you can watch later on so you can enjoy it there too. Okay, I'm just going to jump into Lightroom and I hope you can see it right now. We have four images here. Those are all unedited raw files from the last APOL episode, Adventure Photography on Location episode. And you can go watch that episode. It's episode 31. I have that link that as well in the video description. That's how we shot those photos and a bit more of visual, visual vibes with the photos. And now I'll just do like the quick, well, the, the way I would edit them and I'm just going to work my way through I'm going to try and keep this at around 10 minutes. So if I can't do them all four in 10 minutes, then um, that'll be for another time. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to start with this one. Um, let's get my background back. It's probably one of my favorite ones here. And I'm going to jump in into the develop mode. Press D. Okay. And basically to edit this photo, I'm going to be using one of my presets from my mountain preset pack, which is, I think Glacier is a great way to start this one off. Super bright at the moment, but I just want to um, do a little extra. Well, it's a good starting point, I guess. Now this is supposed to be symmetrical, but I shot this over my head. So down here at the bottom, it's not actually quite so straight as I want it to be. So we're going to start off by fixing that. And one of my favorite tools is the guided transformation. Um, we have we just want to make this parallel to the horizon. So we're going to start off with this one, the plank here, and the lake being parallel, well, flat. That should fix it. There we go. That was pretty simple. Press R and make sure that my corners come in nicely. Whoops, no spinning. Somewhere there. That tree on the right, we can probably crop out and clean it up a bit. Cool, I can't see your comments or notes at the moment, so I'm just assuming this is gonna work. I might check in in a second just to make sure that I'm not completely wasting everyone's time. Cool, this preset's really cool, but it has quite some strong split turning, 12%, especially in the highlights, and there's lots of highlights going on, so I'm gonna reduce this down to about 5%, and then come up and, um, yeah, because it's a snowy landscape, I want it to be white and to make it as natural white as possible I'll make my background white as well And then I can see what I'm doing when I'm pushing it a little bit too warm or too cold So it's going too blue or too yellow. So I'm just going to try and find the sweet spot. I think it's a little bit too magenta Obviously, this is personal taste top to bottom. So you do whatever you want and Then I'm going to push my highlights a bit just to make sure Okay, those whites look fairly neutral gray. I can hover over it and find out as well. So if I look at my RGB values, they're all very similar, which means that they're a neutral color, they're not pushing to the reds or the greens or the blues in any way. So cool. So it's slightly green bluish. So we could technically pull this over a bit in that way. And then we probably, there we go, 92% on almost all of them. Sweet. Okay, most of all, the most important part of this shot, obviously, is the scarf, which we can't see. So if I go backslash, I can look at the previous, the original raw file. So we're basically missing that red touch in the shot. So what I'll do is one of my favorite tools, Shift M, bring a radial filter in. Here we go. And 
I'm going to brighten up so my previous setting was already brightening up. And what I like to do, instead of just pushing the exposure up and blowing out everything, I'll reset that. And this is sort of turning into a tutorial. Um, I'll reduce the contrast that way, everything around it. So I'm basically reducing the blacks and bringing down the highlights. So that transition between the jacket and the outside area basically stays, um, stays quite smooth. And we can push those shadows a little more. And I'm also gonna push up that exposure a bit. And the highlights down, just to try and balance it. Like everyone, I gotta find the balance by playing around with it. I think, okay, I think I'm just gonna go back and push the shadows here. A hint, there we go, looks cool. Now our next thing is the church, we'll bring that down. I'm just gonna use a gradient tool, so M, and hold shift to make it perfectly straight. It's pretty difficult to spot right now. If I press O, you guys can see it. Bring that back and I'm just gonna okay, turn O off. That's where I'm editing at the moment. Um, dehaze a little, maybe a little more. And we'll bring the blacks down to really bring that church because that's the darkest thing. It'll be affected by the blacks. Boom. Okay, time is flying. Oh, let's go. Okay, for now this looks pretty good. Um, again, we want to bring that red out a little more. So I'm going to bring the, so I'll bring this higher up so you guys can see it. Bring the luminance up a little more. And now I want to add some drama. Bring some shadows from the bottom so the top is so bright. Let's bring the bottom down by dropping those shadows and the exposure quite a bit. Ooh, aggressive and dehazing it. I'll probably lift this even further. Really sucks you into that shot. Okay, kind of missing the blues a little bit. So I'm gonna bring that out again. Let me warm up the shot a bit. The wood's looking a bit strange. There we go, that's better. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. I think I'll do some vignetting to suck the view even more into the shot. I'm going to go post crop vignetting and drop it. And okay, let's bring the feather down so we can really see where we're working. And what I like to do is actually bring the vignette the other way like this. And so I really know where I'm editing my shot right now. Then feather it and now find that balance. Okay. We're getting there, it's pretty close. I reckon I can play a little bit with the wood turns. Just grab this thing and find out what, so it's the purple and magentas. Yeah, I'm playing around a bit here. Okay, I reckon that's pretty good. Happy where that is, just increase the rating. And I like as it is, so I'm just gonna copy most of my settings from this shot. Yes, I'm lazy. I'm going to take out all the stuff I don't want. So I don't want the crop to come across. I don't want the spot removal, um, lens corrections, transformation. Obviously, I don't want that. And that should work. And then we'll go to the next shot and just paste it. Command V. Boom. Okay. Now that's gone quite a strong way. So we basically lost the detail in the dock here in the front. But we can do the similar thing with the church again, bring down that exposure a bit to bring that background back in, contrast and the blacks to really go down. And the whites up a little, there we go. And I'm gonna do a radial filter in the front. And yep, shadows is already coming up. And reduce that contrast, bring up the exposure tight whites. I really like playing with the blacks and the whites locally to really bring in focus. Okay, I'm editing off my smart preview so I can't really zoom that much, but I like the eye, the reflection of the sky in the eye. So I'm, yeah, going to bring up the shadows and the highlights. Boom, now that eye really pops. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's look at the original. Yeah, it really drives your attention to the front area. Probably could bring in some crop um, 
some more of this to no, not too much. Maybe a slight gradient. And there we go. Looks pretty nice. Just make sure my crop is straight. Okay, that's straightened already. Perfect. Okay, let me just check if the stream is working, what you guys are saying. Okay, yeah, face cam's in the way. Awesome. Cool. It's great to see that it's working. Um, let's do another one then. One last one, right? Okay, this is a bit of a different shot. Now what I want to change here is um, all this mess in the snow. And I think by pasting the preset we get pretty nice. Okay, so I just pasted the setting from the previous or the first shot we edited. So just to keep that style consistent. And definitely a bit underexposed, so we're just popping this up a little. And we're already starting to get rid of the detail or the mess in the snow, and that has to do with the curve here. So if I drop this a little more, you'll see how the whites just start to completely flatten out. It's maybe a bit too much, so we'll come back up. A little bit of mess is fine. Bring up those highlights. I, I do want a little bit of definition. And then here I'm probably just going to bring up the shadows from the top just to bring more texture into the trees. There we go. Bring the contrast down a bit, just make it less heavy on the eye. This is also a good one for a vignette, so I'm just gonna drop that vignette. Again, I'm not sure what it's doing, so I'm just gonna get rid of the feather. There, we go. this is more of a vignette that works that way. Okay, bring the feather back up again. There we go. Okay, a little bit dark on the shadows because of that. So the backpack really shines, the f-stop bag, so we're gonna push the saturation on oranges. And there we go. Pretty good. Alright. Okay. Sorry if I went over the video with the background or with the webcam video being over my edits. Uh, I probably should have put it in a different corner. That's for next week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a really quick little editing session. Um, if you have any comments or any suggestions, leave them down below. Like I said, there's a free Lightroom preset for you waiting in the video description. So sign up for my newsletter. That's all I'm asking. So I can send you the occasional non-spam, I promise, non-spam email. It's maybe once or twice a month. And um, yeah, you get a free preset and it's probably going to end up very similar to shot number one, which we have here. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, leave me suggestions below. If you liked it, share it with your friends, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see you next week with a similar editing session. So cool. Thanks everyone.